the fact that it makes you physically open both of these doors is is kind of annoying. Okay, that's the one we were looking at. Yep. Okay, there we go. That looks kind of like the symbol. Yeah, it's a bird, it looks like. Bird, bird, bird. Bird's the word. Which, now that I think bird. about it, that makes a whole lot of freaking sense. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, that is a that is a window, but I don't think it's the right one. It has to be. Doesn't want to go. You might have to zoom in more to let it go further. Yep, you do. Yeah, the telescope will only uh, will only go so far. Also, because once I get it centered, I'll need to uh, adjust the focus. Yep. That's pretty close. Yeah, that is looks like it's pretty, pretty close. close. Actually, I believe that is just about right. Mm hmm. So, should I screenshot that one too? Yes, yep. you should screenshot that one. Got it. See, I would apologize for making the mistake, but oh, in nice actuality, party. you're going to be doing this if you ever play Mist for Real. Yeah. Yes. Th this <laughs> is kind of how the game works. It's part of the experience. We're giving you the authentic, true mystery experience, everybody. Do I need more popcorn? No. And the but is it a matter of need? Do you want more popcorn? That's the question. But clearly he does. <laughs> it's almost like he didn't want her to see what he was doing. You didn't see anything. Sure, I did the right... That is not the right door. This was not the way to Stanley's job, and he knew this. Squee. Squee. We need more squeeze. Star has caught Pachirisu. I named it too. It's currently in a box. <laughs> yeah, Star has been experiencing the Sinnoh games for the first time for people at home. Yep. Okay. Well, it looks like it, the top one is between 11 and 12 o'clock. Okay, so... Yeah, like around there. Let's see... The second one looks like it's between 7 and 8, almost. I'd say it's right around 8. Yeah. Like, yeah, right in there somewhere. Yeah. Because remember, it's like you may have 12, 3, 6, and 9, mm -hmm. but you've also got 130, 430, 730, mm -hmm. and 1030. Yeah. Let's see, and it looks like the third one is slightly close to six o'clock and then the next and then the last one is like almost on top of it a little just a little to the right yeah like there ish yeah nope that wasn't quite it you're looking at the picture too yeah That should have been this one. 
We must. We may have something. Unless we're looking at it wrong, maybe. Because when I looked out here, I could have sworn that kind of looked like a bird. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, it looks... We, we have the focus and the zoom off is the problem. Uh... Can't be off by that much. Because it looked freaking right. Yeah. And yet the funny thing is, the first time I did this, I had no problems whatsoever. LP curse. LP <laughs> curse. The first time I did this, yeah, they everything just clicked into place the first time I said everything. Again, it doesn't automatically open these doors for you. I do not understand why. To give you, like, the realistic experience. I, I guess. guess. I'm also going to go... I figure I might as well, since I'm already here. Yeah. That one looks like an egg. Yep. If you remember where the symbol was. Mm -hmm. Or we ran, I mean, we ran smack into this symbol earlier. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty clear. Okay, we need to zoom out slightly. There we go. Yep. This is not the world we should be heading towards. But if we can get it lined up now. Got a picture. Okay, let's go back here for the bird. Yep. Both zoom and focus should be a little bit farther left. Yeah, okay, that is just a tiny bit big, isn't it? That's pretty close. Alright, try another photo then. Click. At least I think that's pretty close to where it should be. It's fairly close. Okay, I do believe that might be the... That might be as close as I can get it. Click. So let's try this again, shall we? If the game will actually let me maneuver. Oh. So now, 
part of the problem with playing this while recording, the window is smaller than when I was refreshing myself on it. And thus those images are also smaller and much more finicky to try to actually work with. But if we fail this time, I'm pretty sure we can just find where the marble should be on, in the screenshot online somewhere. I certainly wasn't doing that. Let's go over here. Atris, you and your complexly designed houses that you keep things in. God damn it. What's, why are you like this? Pro safe. Sound like someone falling to their death there. That was one of the citizens of Relishan. Probably. Alright, trying this again. Uh, the top one is again between 11 and 12. The second one is almost smack dab between 7 and- or uh, 8 and 9. The third one looks like it's in between six and seven. And then the last one is just like a little bit to the left of the last one. Like there-ish. No? Yes. There it goes. Because if I, I clicked on the button and it automatically, it automatically worked. Okay. Yay! So, we have found the linking book to Adana. I've got a fire if you do. <laughs> I'm Arch. sorry, Atris, but you have designed one of the worst goddamn worlds. And this comes up again in this four, unfortunately, but let's see what we're looking at. Let's see here. It's like... It looks like a giant... friggin... Tree of some kind? It's kind of hard to tell from here. Um. But yeah, you, I mean, we're now caught on a little spiraling picture here. Mm hmm. First off, I have to admit, this world is extremely pretty to look at. It is very, I mean, not this specific part of it, but I mean, most of this world is very nice to look at. Yes. That is the end of the good things I have to say about this world. <laughs> the same here, really? Although we probably both have different reasons for it. Well, well, I know at least one of our reasons is gonna be the same. Now keep in mind that this game does not prompt you when you are hovering over a path. Oh hey, there's a linking book back to Janana and if we get frustrated and want to go back. Well, there's... even if we get frustrated and want to go back, it's tucked away in here. This is why we need an axe. Fire. Fire will solve all the problems. Then it'll destroy the book. You know, as long as we get to it, I'm going to hit I'm gonna do this because, dear God, this this music. <laughs> we're in golly, bitch. We're in, 
We're somewhere. But yeah, that music was absolutely blaring. But yes, this little, uh... There are a handful of these flowers around, and they're kind of... They can act as telescopes and a few other things. But you see, this one's pointing inside that tangled mess we're looking at. Mm -hmm. And that's where the linking book is, back, back to where we came from. It's in there. We, we have no way to get in there right now. And we won't until we finish the goddamn world. I know there's another linking book, just some random ass space in this age. Because, like, this wasn't designed to torture or anything. It's like, oh, this is a friendly lesson for my boys. Well, obviously. Well, it tickles. was until <laughs> um, Savidro came along. Yes. He, he weaponized nature. He weaponized nature, yeah. Nature didn't need the help, trust me. True. Have you seen Komodo dragons? <laughs> that may have come up in conversation today. Yes. So, there's not much we can do at the very start here. There's, I mean, we can go look at this and see, yes, that that is, in a way, our end goal. In a way! Because, spoiler alert, we get dropped in there at the end of the place and we can link back home. I will have friggin' things to say about that. But again, this world is pretty. So so take in the prettiness. It, it'll get prettier, trust us, folks. We're basically in this giant-ass tree in the middle of an ocean. Yep. How does it even work? That is an excellent question. Uh, what? Well, elaborate. What? What? What are you wondering about working? Like, how is a tree surviving in the middle of the ocean? Um, clearly, it has a very long trunk, and it is adapted in such a way that it can handle salinated water. Also, did he just literally make an entire? that's just water and a giant ass tree. There are yes. probably other there are probably other giant ass trees here. Remember, he didn't make the age, he linked to it. I hear something. There it is. You're not wrong. Kevin! Hey Kevin! You got smaller! Oh oh, don't worry. It's just very far away. <laughs> yeah, it is just very far away. That That is a significant distance. Yeah, yeah, there is a lot of bird right there. Yes. Is this why you hate this age? No. Well, yes, but no. <laughs> Where you go against Kevin? <laughs> so... So, if you look through the journal Atris gave us, each each lesson age has a different little phrase associated with it. Idana's is nature encourages mutual dependence. Oh, hang on, I think I saw it. It'll be bolded somewhere. Let's see, I think I know what page it's on six eight nope that's not it nope that's energy powers future motion i look like yep nature encourages mutual dependence back yep. one yep there it is yep there it is but he's also mentioning the channel wood yep if you recall channel, channel wood. wood from the first game did. I the, hear the tree growing. You hear the tree growing, yes. The hell? I'm not even gonna say what I think that is. <laughs> it looks... <laughs> for the safer work version, it looks like a giant freaking eyeball. For all the world, that looks like a giant freaking eyeball. 
Yeah, that's fair. You know what? I'm gonna make this joke because we were talking about things between recordings. But this isn't the age of ball. <laughs> <laughs> Surat knows exactly what I'm talking about. Yes, I do. And that was, well, that wasn't even between recordings. That was before recording. Yeah. <laughs> I was having trouble remembering the names of the ages. <laughs>